Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x all over x is equal to 0. Let's begin by reviewing some key ideas. In order to prove this, we are going to be under the assumption that we already proved that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is equal to 1. The only other idea that we're going to need is that of the conjugate. So for example, if I have x plus a, the conjugate would be x minus a. So now we're ready to show that the limit as x approaches 0 of this goes to 0. If we multiply this by 1, we're not going to be changing the value of the expression. So let's multiply by 1 here. And we've basically done nothing up to this point. However, we can be clever on the way we write this uh, times 1. And that's where the idea of the conjugate is going to kick in. The conjugate of 1 minus cosine of x is going to be 1 plus cosine of x. So let's go ahead and write that here on the second step. I rewrote the value of 1 as a 1 plus cosine of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x. Again, using the idea of the conjugate, 1 minus cosine of x, the conjugate would be 1 plus cosine of x. Now we can simplify the numerators here by combining these two binomials, and we can distribute. So 1 times 1 is going to give us 1. 1 times positive cosine x is going to give us positive cosine x. Next, we're going to do the same thing with negative cosine x. So negative cosine x uh, times 1 is negative cosine x. And negative cosine x times cosine of x is going to give us a negative cosine square x. We get that uh, this whole expression here is going to be divided by x times 1 plus cosine of x. So we can divide this by um, x times 1 plus cosine of x. I'm going to simplify again, noticing that this positive cosine x can cancel out with this negative cosine x. So these ones cancel out, and all I'm left with is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine square of x all over x times 1 plus cosine square of x. Next, I will make use of a trig identity. Sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x, that is equal to 1. Now, if I tweak this just a little bit by subtracting cosine squared of x on both sides, I get uh, that sine squared of x is equal to uh, 1 minus cosine squared of x. This means that I can exchange my 1 minus cosine squared of x for a sine squared of x. So let's go ahead and do that. Making my exchange, I am now going to rewrite my new expression in this way. I'm going to write it as the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x all over x times my other sine of x all over 1 plus cosine squared of x. Sine squared of x means I have two copies of sine x and I decided to put one over uh, x and then the other one over the 1 plus cosine squared of x. Now is the perfect time to apply this limit law, that the limit of the product is equal to the product of the limits, meaning that I can distribute this limit to both uh, parts of the function under multiplication. So let me go ahead and show you the, what that's going to look like. I've turned my original limit problem into two smaller limit problems, and as you can see applying this law, I was able to distribute uh, this limit towards uh, this part of the function and this uh, second part of the function. And now I'm going to apply the limits here. And the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, that's a famous limit. It's going to go to 1. So here we can uh, cross that out. And let's go ahead and uh, record that here as well. So we have 1 times uh, applying the limit here. Uh, everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it by a 0. So we get uh, sine of 0 uh, over 1 plus cosine squared of 0. And from our trig course, we know that sine of 0 equals 0, cosine of 0 equals 1. Uh, applying these um, substitutions or results, we get 1 times 0 uh, over 1 plus 1 squared. And this is basically game over because we have 0 on the numerator, meaning that the whole thing is going to reduce to 0. So we have 1 times 0, and that equals 0. 
Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x all over x is equal to 0. And that is what we wanted to show. Thank you for watching. I hope you review this and uh, hopefully you can recreate this on your own. Good luck with your studying and see you next time.